Hello everybody, welcome back to more into the Gungeon Beat the Gungeon. We're on uh, I was gonna say streak. Wow, why do I have that reflex? We have not been on a quote unquote streak uh since the series started. We we've kind of ditched ditched that. But I mean technically what are we we're probably on like a four hundred uh, or right three three fifty between three fifty and four hundred lich streak without dying, I guess, technically. Uh I, I suppose. So there is that, I, I I guess, but that's not what I was getting at. We are not necessarily on a streak. We are doing, you know, we're doing our grinding right now. We're doing the, effectively, the frightful grinding. I could say credit grinding, but let's be honest, that's going to be over in a, an episode or so. And uh, quite frankly, part two, I'm not even going to be done with my lead maidens by, by then, probably. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. What a bad... <laughs> Bad, bad room there that that was. Just sloppy all around. But the fun thing is, I actually, I kind of like to play really fast and loose and sloppy. I mean, in general, it's kind of fun to do. But um, with the, the Convict, it just, it feels like the intended gameplay style. You know, you get the sawed off, which, you know, it's not, it's not very good. <laughs> it's, let's be real. It's not very good. But it's, uh, eh, you know. It does more damage than the starter, that's for sure. But only if you are willing to uh, to risk your biscuits and get up in their face. And also, she has the uh, enraging photograph, which you know rewards poor play in a sense. You know, like it, no, not even in a sense. It just straight up does. If it doesn't reward poor play, it, the only thing I can really see it being useful for is truly just like. Uh, Super cheese situations, like if you have the gunner. Like, if we get that today, I'll be pretty satisfied, you know? We don't... How often do we get the gunner while playing as, um... The convict? Not very often. It, even that's not infinite. Like, basically, what's the situation... What's the use case for Enraging Photograph? Uh, you're a new player, and it helps you kill the enemies that are damaging you quicker effectively kind of like a weird uh backwards table tech blank is actually kind of i don't know i feel like we haven't had a table tech blank gold amulet run in a while maybe we can make that happen um what, was I, what am i getting at i'm all over the place gosh darn it the convict she's weird okay she's a weird one mr grinch uh she's she re yeah, it rewards poor play per se. Like you know, the other situation is you use it to damage boost. Uh, for speed runs, she's kind of a fun character in that sense where you can uh, you can intentionally sacrifice some HP to go a little bit quicker for a bit. But it's just you know, it's effectively just like uh, if you know you have a bunch of HP like on the ground and everything like that. You could save it for later, get it out of the uh, the machine at the end of the floor if you're doing a speed run. I don't know. It's there's something to it. There's there's some interest to it. I was gonna save uh, save this purchase until the end, but there is a chance that we get the Gatling golf and uh, get the room with the tables in it. I'm actually very very pleased. Thank you. This is this is the boss we need. We need to kill this boss 10 times total to unlock the Cat Bullet King Throne, which truly, truly it baffles me that we have not killed him 10 times. I don't understand. The statistics say that it should not be possible unless... I actually held off on my shots there tactically. Unless it's not actually the same likelihood. Which is possible didn't talk about backup gun because it's irrelevant at the moment it's kind of just a gun where it's like it's useless until it's super useful you know like there's a lot of a lot of weaponry that can gain pretty good benefit like bouncy shot things uh super homing things uh things like camera effectively even we can get a lot of value out of because it just doubles the shots like room wide things room wide things things you don't have to aim effectively great with backup gun I cannot believe that that was not our 10th kill. I cannot believe it. Oh my god. So what is this? This is a gun. This is a brown chest gun. I 
kind of don't even know if I want it. Do we blank here? Did we already do it? Where the heck? Where to heck? All right. Uh, maybe it was here. I guess maybe we didn't check there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna believe in you, game. I really shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. All right. Guess I don't know what I was expecting. Let's uh, get a nice cold water open. Mm. Yes, it is actually water. It is sparkling water. Everyone's like, why do you, why do you say crack open a cold water? Like, everyone thinks I'm. Uh, I'm hiding, like, the fact that I'm open up an alcohol, alcohol or something. It's not true. I, I'm, it's legit. It's just sparkling water. It's actually... <laughs> there's <laughs> there's not, no subtext. But I just think it sounds funny to say. That's all. Can't light these guys on fire, right? I mean, well, he's over a pit, but, like, see? Yeah. Can't light him on fire. Should have known because I did try to just, you know, light him on fire with my, uh, my weapon. It's the weirdest approach ever. It's like we're trying to catch, uh, uh, we're trying to, like, pick up a hockey puck on, on ice, but we keep on kicking it with our foot every time we get closer. Because of the, uh, the table tech push. Oh, you dirty rats. Okay. This is a good supplementary gun in the sense that, like, you want to set them on fire and then switch to another gun. Because it does do a lot of damage with its actual bullet. I I don't like this situation at at all. I'm I'm thinking I'm gonna use some blanks here. I just I just don't like our situation. It's just not not good. I thought we were gonna maybe get a little bit of a good blank off knocking down all them fools. We're not hitting with most of our shots with the shotgun. This is driving me mad. But I just don't, I can't, I can't bring myself to use my standard, but I should. It's just pretty inaccurate. We did fine, we did fine. Would have rather have uh, obviously not used a blank there. Oh, thank you very much. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'll, uh, I'll definitely write home about that one. Um, but, you know, it's fine. Could have been, could have been all kinds of worse. I think that's a secret room. Cell creep, though. You know what? What are the odds that that's actually going to give me something good? But. We could sell, like, a bunch of stuff. And Let's, uh... Let's do the floor first. I'll probably do the rat. It's... I feel like I never get a cell creep in the rat key room. It's just, uh, what, what a lucky day. What a lucky day tis. That being said, like, my gun situation, yeah, it's a little dukish, huh? You know, a little bit dukish, huh? get wrecked. Nice amount of money, but I would uh, argue that 115 would be nicer. We could get one rank of curse, just because it's kind of nice to have one for the uh, eh, yeah. For the the, 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 the the black market. We talk about it all the time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying by now, probably. Black market. It's just, just because it's so disappointing to not be able to go you know you get it and then you can't go it's like i do it literally just for that reason just because i would cry my eyeballs off if i saw it and i couldn't go because it's a run changer in like every sense of the word it uh, it changes the run you know all one potential sense of the word it changes it that way yeah, I, I I got excited when I saw this room. I knew this was a lead maiden room. I can't really get in there without a little bit of fina finagling. Okay, hitbox. Okay, hitbox. That is a chunky hitbox. 
for them. It was a. Uh, it's a lot. Uh, his on top of him. It, he's rounded at the top, but his hitbox is guess what? Guess what shape it is? Guess what shape it is? It's a box. Who'd have thought? I'm gonna lose my marbles today. I did it for the damage boost, though. I did it for the damage boost. And we got out of sync, out of sync butt shots there. God, I just, I want a gun that is not this and is frankly not this either. I'm, <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to think that the uh, good old fashioned rat ain't a good idea. This is a problem. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I hate this. All right, let's just uh, push you back. Push you back. There we go. Oh my. This is one of the few trap rooms that does just keeps going. When you're... <laughs> Come on! Oh my god. This is actually some of the worst items I've ever been given <laughs> at, up, up to this point. It's just so bad. Such a bad selection of items all around. For for like for boss killing, I just I'm not going to use a fossilized gun for boss killing without fire immunity. You're crazy. You crazy? I I'm being trolled. I'm being trolled. All right, we can sell that. Easy. We should have sold the um, the Molotov. Or not the Molotov. Oh, wait a minute. I'm not used to this having a bonus room after it. It's at the, uh, oh, it's the, it's the altar room. The altar room's always just kind of like tacked on the end of something. If we had a blank, I would blank here because I'm pretty sure this is a secret room. It's not a guaranteed one, but I think it might be one. could literally just use it like a yeah. this is this is I hate this is I hate we're gonna take damage in this fight and that's okay that's fine it's fine to take damage it doesn't mean you're bad it just means you took damage ha <laughs> Jesus Jesus please oh please here comes rockets from the top What, like, why is... The, the game is giving me the most stressful part of the run right now, I swear. Oh! I felt that on my buns. Stop! <laughs> the rockets! I don't want to use my standard anymore. Because the standard's not a gun worth fighting for. Button. Just keep on the rocket game and play from far away. Kill, kill the ads. Kill the rockets. He'll just die. He'll just die because the uh, the fire strike is uh, is not too bad. It's really not too bad. It lasts a long time. It's kind of like a big old chunky Molotov. And just like that, we won. But it was not fun. I had no smiles on my face the whole time. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. Fast, 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 fast. Nope. Okay. Bloop. Take that. Thank you. Bracket key is way more usable. Um. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like ammo going down to the next floor. You know what? I don't care. Um, this is this is actually such a bad idea. I mean, we have. I, I, I just it's such a bad idea. Can you sell this? You probably can, huh? 
I, I <laughs> this is such a bad idea. I mean, we're not going to the rat floor right now. We may. I know it's it's sacrilege, and everybody will get uh, all up in arms. But if we don't get a good enough gun on the next floor, even though we spent the money on the rat key, I may not go. Just because, like, you know, that whole streak thing I was talking about—that was a horrible bracket key. Thankfully, we have the bracket key, which is the ultimate equalizer. It makes it so on a run where you got uh, got garbage damage. You'll still be able to one-shot a room. <laughs> it's not bad. Not bad at all. So we can flip them tables. Ooh. You've got to be joking. You've got to be joking. I, I am actually, like, quite bamboozled. <laughs> it's the karma for, for just walking into pits multiple times. I mean, I did it for the damage boost. Obviously. If we could get the synergy... Wait, don't tell me we... Don't tell me we threw away this synergy for this, did we? I don't think we did. I don't think we did. It's okay, we got a special room here. Gondromeda Strain would be lovely, but the likelihood of that happening is effectively not zero because we could get the ability to steal. But the the chance that we get the money is nigh impossible. We need the briefcase full of cash, which should be unlocked. Oh, no. We got rid of the water gun. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this run. Oh my god. I I don't know. I don't know what to say. I didn't know they made them this bad. I didn't know they made runs this bad. It's been a hot moment. This is like Let me be honest. RNG has very little to do with uh with being able to win into the gungeon. I know Shock, ah, uh, everybody's gonna say, like, you, you have, whenever you look at, like, any post on, uh, on, like, Reddit or something like that, where the general public talks about Enter the Gungeon, they're like, man, I just, like, I can't get into it because, you know, whenever I play, uh, the RNG screws me. It's one of the most skill, uh, like, skill dependent roguelites. And <laughs> that that's I mean obviously like there's ones that are more and even more like playing monolith that's obviously more skill dependent even but um, that uh, even that has some really uh, like in, in monolith you can be carried you can be carried easier than you can be carried in gungeon I think that's I think that's true but on average the average run of monolith I think requ re requires more um, finesse than an average run of Gungeon, but that being said, like, I think, I mean, there's more tactile skill required in Gungeon than, uh, than Binding of Isaac, for sure. Um, I, you know, than a lot of other ones. The, the thing that's always a, a, a good sense, or a good way to get a sense of that is kind of just like, at the, oh, okay, thank you for at least giving me another, another chance here. Okay, okay, we can work with that. We can so work with that. It's not normally like an okay gun, but with the butt shots, we can totally work with that. But a good, a good way to get a sense of like uh, how much skill plays into the victory chance of a, of a roguelite is look at the people who play the game, who play the game like a thousand hours. Do they lose? If the answer is no, you can't be screwed over by RNG as much as people want to think. You can't literally only lose a run from RNG in, in Gungeon. It's, you know, it's not like... And, and, and I know you can say that with, like, an, any roguelite, but I'm saying... The, 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 this is one of the worst runs by far. This is probably one of the worst runs we've had in this whole series so far. And it's totally good enough. I could beat the Lich with this stuff. I could beat the Lich with this stuff. It wouldn't be fun. Like, I wouldn't like doing it. But we could totally do it. And now we got a fun little synergy brewing. But yeah, it's, it's the thing. It's like, people people want to... 
they want to blame the blame the game blame the rng there's rng i'm not going to say that every run is made equal but the the discrepancy the discrepancy between the highs and the lows are not that big master i'm unlocking what the hell is this synergy oh what why why <laughs> Why is, th I mean, this is a very good synergy, but why did we get it? Oh no, you know what? This is a double synergy, that's what it is. Solar Flare, okay. And apparently, synergy with this too. I don't know what this stat synergy is though, I'll be honest. It, oh, it is the green, it's the green fire. I don't understand it, but I'm happy to have it because our flare gun just became, uh, <laughs> like, actually god tier. And now we have remote bullets, and it's a one run. Bloop. Beep, 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 beep. Like, people would, uh, would have, like, a little bit of an... I mean, okay, I know we need, uh, another blank here. Or we don't need it. People would outcry, like, Oh, man, look at you now! See, how can you be, how can you be saying RNG yada yada yada? But the thing is, like, people would... If you play well enough on the first few floors and you can get yourself to the place where you, if you can get the run to go long enough, you go to the secret floors and everything, you will probably last long enough to get okay stuff. That was on purpose so we can open the door. Because um, we got it all on floor three. We had trash. We had absolute, complete trash until floor three. And we were able to last that long because we played the game enough where where we can clear the first three floors with our standard and it's annoying but it's fine you know like pitchfork is okay i, li I like it it's kind of it's kind of fun to use I, I it feels satisfying to use but i don't think it's that strong up up down right down up okay that makes it easier okay actually let's down Okay. Right. Like I one thing I, I notice a lot. On the first episode of uh of the Beat the Gungeon series, I got like pretty good luck. I got the Vulcan cannon on the first floor. Like I wish I didn't so that I could not get these uh these comments. But people are, are okay, wait, hold on. I don't remember. Up up down right down up oh geez I'm, I'm i'm busy ranting uh people always say like oh the only reason he's good is because he got the vulcan cannon on the first floor when i play i i have never had a run where i get a good item on the first floor you know like it's as if that was the only reason i okay i i knew it i knew it that's fine incoming uh incoming rage it's because i was tilted whenever i talk tilted like that it's uh, it it, it it gets me flustered and I, I goof up like that, which is it's okay. This run, honestly, like I said, we really don't need anything else to win the game right now. Even and that was before we got the broken flare gun synergy that I, I didn't even process that that was the other part of the synergy. Really, totally fine. Bloop. I, reg I it was a mistake. And I feel bad about it, but it's also, it's fine. Alright. But it's just like, yeah. The, the discrepancy between the low, lowest and the highest are... And they're not as much... Like, a game like, uh, for example... And, and there's there's nothing wrong... The, here's the other thing. Is there's nothing wrong with RNG either, though. But the thing is, it's it's not as present in, in Gungeon as people... People want it to be so that they don't feel as bad about losing. Like, if you do, if you look at people doing maximum level ascension runs in Slay the Spire or something, it's clear that there's more RNG involved in, in a thing like that. You know, it's obviously, it's a card game, so there's more RNG, usually inherently. But it's just like, that doesn't mean you can't be really good at Slay the Spire and get, like, really, really good win rates. But there's a reason that it's, you know, like, 
that it's easier for me to streak the Gungeon and be at 400 Lich Kills in a row than it would be to do a, you know, a hundred streak and slay the spire on max ascension. I'm just gonna do it. Just because I, I rarely see that shrine. And I don't know if you can get the black market on the forge, and I really, honestly, I kind of hope you can't, because I'm gonna, <laughs> I would regret that. We could probably, like, drop this and pick it up, and maybe we'd be cursed again, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know how that works. It might have just cleansed our base curse from the pot, but I think it's, I think it costs 10 shells her curse. I could be wrong. Because like I said, that thing does not show up very often. It's it's like really, it's one of the really uncommon things. One thing that I, it's one thing that I actually really do, do wish was changed about Gungeon. I wish that altars and shrines and things like that, I wish they showed up like seriously, crank it up three times as often. Three times as often. Like, uh, they're not that game-changing, you know? Like, you usually, and with most of them, you have to give up something to get something. So, I don't know. That's one thing I'm really appreciating about about Monolith. Once again, if, you, if you've not checked out the Monolith series, you totally should. If you like End of the Gungeon, you're going to really, really like Monolith. You can join all the people who are saying, like, wow, I'm glad, I, I'm glad you played this game because it's so good. It is. It's so good. It's ridiculously good, and it's overlooked and underrated. But it has, um... It has so many chances for risk reward or trading things for you know this for that. Whenever you beat any of the mini bosses, and there's uh, at least one, usually I, on, on the later floors there's like three or four mini bosses on every single floor, which sounds crazy, but the runs are only 40 minutes. They're sh quicker than Gungeon, but yeah. Uh, after you beat them, you get the decision between 20% uh, of your ammo back. Or or one heart. You know? Like, just immediately in, in so many scenarios. God dang it! I re I shouldn't have cleansed my curse. That gives us bonus damage against cursed enemies. Oh, that's uh That's a stinker. That's fine though. It's not a big deal. How much would we really gain? Um and then also against bosses, they give you the option of when you beat them, you either can pick you have to pick one or the other, two HP back, or a permanent 5% damage up for the rest of the game. And I love that. I love that. It's it, And it encourages you to play well, but then they also have the thing where uh, if you have full health and you pick up, um, pick up a heart container, it turns it into, instead of overflowing like in, in Gungeon or most roguelites, it, um, it turns it into a heart, heart piece like in Zelda, so four heart pieces and it turns into an extra max heart container uh geez i huh it's a little late for this it's a little late for that in fact i don't know if i should have even bothered and you know what i just love baby good mimic is he great yeah he's fine he's, he's okay but i love him he's too darn cute That was not a good dodge, but yeah, there we go. The thing about roguelites is, you know, a lot of large numbers in a well-designed roguelite, if, over the course of the whole run, if you play it, you'll get something useful. And the point is um, increasing your base skill cap, your base skill floor so that you can, um, you can consistently make it to that point where everything changes, you know? That's what it's about. That's what it's usually about. We could sell stuff. I don't know. Do we want money? Do we even want money? I'm sure we got some stuff to sell. I can sell the pitchfork. I can easily sell a book of chest anatomy. We are never junking a chest. I can't sell this even though I want to because I do want to keep the synergy. <sighs> Excalibur is not that great. And it's relatively high tier. I'll, I'll take the money instead. Because we are moving to the forge where there's a lot of stuff for sale. Alright. Man. This run would be really stupid if we went to the rat. Like, really, really dumb. Dumb strong. Dumb, uh, dumb E-thick, I think they say. 
But yeah, like, look at this. Flare gun. Oh, mamma. Mamma jamma. It's a great, great synergy. Just throw in remote bullets. Remote bullets backup gun is such a fun combo to get. Name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. Not actually, because there's there's a ton, there's a ton that are that are even better. But it truly is great. It, it gives you um, so many guns that turn into unbelievably strong ones. Um, but flare gun plus the Mr. Creation Jr. Bloop. It's just a great synergy. It's a dang great synergy. Blank. Oh, <laughs> I just wanted to, I wanted to kill him right away. The one thing about the, uh, the bracket key, I do believe, I could be wrong, I do, I'm pretty, pretty certain though, um, is when you use it, you, you do get less money, I think, because, uh, you won't be able to do the second phase, you know? If you do it in a room that has multiple phases, you do it the second you enter, it just, if it kills everybody in the first phase, it just ends it. And therefore, I do believe you don't get the money. Because you, the money does drop from the enemies themselves. It's easy to forget that because you don't they don't get uh, magnetized to you until the end of the room. That was like weirdly god tier. I just made a mistake, so I wanted to rectify it. Okay. Um, these are, they're fine. I feel like you can use them really well, but I often, like, kind of just, I kind of don't mess with it. That situation where I felt like I had to, um, I felt like I had to use my bracket key because I made my, my mistake dodge. I could have just, you know, done that instead. There's situations for it. It's just, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was right there. I was just trying to figure out how I could u utilize it. It's one of those th things for me where, like, the more I try to use it, the worse things go for me. It's like Macho Brace. the uh, The benefit of it is not that that high for me, or just in general, it's just not that high of a benefit. Dodge rolling before every attack just isn't usually a good idea. Puts you in a lot of. Uh, vulnerable state but um and the, the damage you get not that good not that good by comparison okay 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 alpha bullet oh my god why did we not get alpha bullet oh he did a dumb thing alpha bullet plus flare gun oh man i'm so sad i'm so sad well that should have, that increased, that was, is the right call if we were going to be using a lot of it, Mr. Accretion Jr. I think it's, it was a safe call. It's like, it's an all around handy thing. I think it's like a 20% damage up. I could be, could be wrong. I've been saying that a lot today. There's a lot of things that are apparently conjecture today. And we definitely should not be, uh, uh, not be AOE clearing every room if we are looking for money. But here's the thing. We're not going to get enough money. I can tell you that already. Maybe if the whole run, ever since we picked up the bracket key, we would have enough. But even then, I don't think we would. Why are we getting so many synergy chests? Gondar Fury! I love it. It's not ranked up, though. Chance on hit. What? I don't know what that is. I don't have my phone. I can't Google it. All right. I love Gunder Fury. Sorry. I forgot that it is. <laughs> it's not even the upgraded version, though. Disappointed. Uh, you know what we can do? First of all, this is not a synergy with anything, is it? Nope. Rest in peace. Thunderclap and this are not deserving of the rank they are, so it usually makes some good... good um, Muncher fodder, and now we have the test gun that uh, is illegal. God dang it. 
I should turn off mod the Gungeon now that the uh, the Redo and Raps race the same maps is over. Because everybody's going to tell me to fire the test gun. And I will, but I'll do it in a... I'm not going to do it against the boss. Because that feels cheaty and illegal. I'll show it. I'll show it off in the empty room when we're done. Because I know everyone's curious. It's illegal, though. Blip. 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 I feel like Brachyki probably isn't even really doing damage. Uh-oh. Bad positioning. Ah, I should have blanked, though! It's fine. We don't need HP. I thought that I could do it. I thought my monolith bullet moving skills could be uh, could be enough for me. What a fool I was. I should probably use my Gunder Fury. It's already level 10. Did this start at level 10? It, it levels up. If you don't know what Gunder Fury is, it's a fantastic gun that is obviously a reference to World of Warcraft. And uh, it levels up over time. Whoop. And the level stays permanent throughout the whole game. So, like, once you get it, it should be, I think it gets to level 60, the original, the original damage cap of WoW, or uh, level cap of WoW, I believe. I believe it could be wrong. Conjecture, conjecture. But, yeah, it, uh, it goes from a gun that's honestly not very good to a gun that is arguably my favorite one to pick up in the whole game. It's so strong. It's so strong at max level. So we should get cracking on it so the next time we get it, it's even better. Okay, here we go. Test gun, what does it do? It's a mod the Gungeon gun that fires literally every bullet in the game. However, whenever you get makeshift cannon, that happens. And then the gun goes on the ground. So, therefore, it's, uh, you know, not really worth it. Oh, when you pick it back up, it's got a different sprite. doesn't have the, uh, the glitchy sprite. Bloop. So therefore, we're going to leave that there because uh, effectively we just lost an, lost two guns because of Mavi, we had Mavi Gungeon on, and that's fine. We're going to use this not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Uh, because we want to make sure we get it ranked up. And if we're ever going to use it, you know, it's a good run. We have a lot of uh, a lot of beneficial bullet modifiers and things that should make everything quite a bit easier for us. Oh, oh. What rank is it? Level level 10. I don't remember if it goes up by ones or what. I should... <laughs> I'm being so rude to it. We're, we're, we're kill stealing from my Gunder Fury. There's another cat here. Okay, level 10. Come on. Level faster. Ooh. Thank you. We got a pretty good amount of those today. I don't know. What did we get? Like, got like five? It's not bad, not bad. Level 11. We leveled up. Ding. That's the one thing that I think would be fun with it is if it did a little visual effect. We could obviously use our space bar, but I want to level up my Gunder Fury. There's only one time in your save file you get to level it up. As soon as it's at max level, there's no going back. Boop. Got a little bit, a little bit cleaner visually, didn't it? I think it's, uh, it has different visuals per, per level, like per level range. I can't remember what the level ranges are. Whoop, whoop. But yeah, I mean, the the synergy is, I believe we're just shooting out uh, <laughs> Azeroths. We're shooting out planets every once in a while with it here. I'm just gonna use it till it's out of ammo. Because uh, I just want to. 
you know, I want to want to make it so the next time we get it, it's better than it is now. It, and it's already okay, like just because of all the things we have. Chance on hit. I don't even know what that synergy is. Seems like it's almost like a damage one or something. Level 12 yet? Level 12! Ding. Okay. Oh, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Man, it, it's so tough to see that uh, the bracket key down there and not press it. And there we go. We're going to use it even more. 13. Ding. Don't use it. But yeah, I think probably every... I would imagine every 10 levels it probably gets a change, but it might be... It might be more than that. That being said, it's... Yeah, it's going okay. Uh, sure. That was probably stupid. Like, will I... I could use it on the boss. It depends. Like, I wonder if you, <laughs> if you get more experience for the boss. It's probably just, like, flat number of enemies killed, I would imagine. Whoop. But maybe, maybe it started at level 10. I don't know. I haven't had it before. I've never picked it up before on this, uh, on this save file yet. I just didn't want to take damage in that room there. Not a great gun for that situation due to the fact that it seems like it's actually pretty garbage range. Which is fine. Okay. Whoop. But max rank turns into crazy high uh, high damage, rapid fire, killer supreme. Turns into basically, basically my favorite gun to get in the game. If not, if not literally my favorite gun to get in the game. Even over Gunther and makeshift cannon, yes, especially over Gunther and makeshift cannon. No, ma no makeshift cannon's really fun to get. Gunther's just not that fun to get anymore, just because it's so. Uh, it shows up. It seems like it shows up really often. Like, it, it, oh, you got me good. You got me good. What, Sinji? Another Gunder Fury one? Nope. Gruber's Bane. Super butt shot. Okay. It's actually quite nice. 15 yet? 15 ding. And we're getting keys on keys. If only there was a keyblade in in this game. Instead of just undermine. I just want to keep on shooting these and just watch if our gun levels up. Well. Oh well. Can only uh, only go through the leveling process once before we get to that max level rating where the real game begins. I thought we were going to take damage there, for sure. Okay. Poke him, poke him, poke him. Poke him if you got him. Okay. I think we need to stop filling this up. I will... I shouldn't. I just, like... Truthfully, truthfully... These are obviously way better right now, and maybe that'll be more fun. Or maybe we could... We'll switch to Gunder Fury for the kill. Just in case that's how it works. You know what? Just in case that's how it works. Oh my god, it's level 19! D is it... Does it actually work that way? Do, do we get more experience for killing the boss? All right. Let's see. Let's let's use it for a little bit in the fight and see if it turns into level 20 or not. It does not. So maybe what we'll do is yeah, same same deal. Same deal different day. Just check his HP. 
Okay. Switch back over. And you just this just to finish it off. Oh. I think it leveled up again. It changed appearance. Past must be past 20, right? 20 or past? 21. Our Gunder Fury can drink. Oh, it's also like a lot better. Oh, it's actually like it's actually like really good right now. It's already really good. Wow. 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 I'm so curious what level it got to. So it looks like it's based off of the kill then. That's very good to know. Very good to know. I'm sure the, the leveling does slow down, you know, like an MMO as it gets closer to the end there. We are going to pop back to the breach. There's a chance we got Cat Bullet King thrown and it just didn't pop it up for us. But we're also going to go back to the breach to talk to the Gunsling King just to guarantee that we did not get the Owl unlock. And also to guarantee that we are not at 200 shells for uh, Hegemony Credits. Yeah, we did not get the Cat King thrown. Hegemony Credits for, um, for Platinum Bullets. We'll see. I don't think we are. We're not. Which is fine. And we will double check where we're at for this. Six. We we found five. That's that's the best we've done in a little while. Alright. Okay, so we need, need a couple more of those. But that is going to do it for today. That was a nice, clean, easy-peasy run. Started off a little rough. But we were able to stick through it. Because, you know... I, I would hope I could with the thousand hours of Gungeon. You would hope you would hope I'd be able to pull through. But that is gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more Gungeon and check out my channel for roguelites and more every single day. If you're looking for something to watch right after this, I highly recommend starting it on the Monolith series. If you like this game, you're gonna love Monolith. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.